Hello everyone and welcome to A Minus with Aaron. I'm of course your host Aaron and today we start off by saying goodbye to a fantastic person, comedian, actress, activist, and all time round great person, Betty White. So I'd like to take a second before the start of 8 Minutes with Aaron and put this tribute that I obviously stole from YouTube, but hey, it was beautiful and I think you should watch it too. Thank you. Thank you for being a friend Travel down the road and back again Your heart is true You're a pal and a confidant And if you threw a party You invited everyone you knew You would see the biggest gift would be for me And the car Hello everyone and welcome back and let's just swing it back in the gear and let me say welcome to 8 Minutes with Aaron. Happy New Year's. It has been a fantastic break I've had for making some episodes because why? It was a birthday week. I went to a music festival. You know what? How about I show you about a little clip of that music festival too? If you didn't see the enjoyment and fantastic time that I had bringing in the New Year's, I went to the PA Convention Center, I got to see fantastic shows. A little downfall, you know, we waited about a year and a half for this to happen again, and then we know what happens. The headliner! She canceled, like, an hour or two before! It was, it was devastating, you know, with the Betty White news, and then Alice in Wonderland canceling, hijinks. You didn't think things would get better. However, of course, things always get better. It was a new year, it's strike 12, and everything was refreshed, brand new. A lot of people getting a lot of New Year's, <laughs> a lot of New Year's resolutions. I might have to slow down. Maybe I'll put that as one of them. But the big New Year's resolution I'm gonna make for this year is I am going to try to live each day as it is I'm not going to say my last because that would be a lie, but I'm going to try to live it just a teeny bit better. Not going to let things bother me so much. I'm going to really try to go to the gym on a steady schedule. I'm going to promise to eat healthy because we have about six and a half months until Electric Forest. And you know what? I want to look good for Electric Forest. It's been two years in the making, and this time, let me tell you, I'm going to look good, I'm going to have a bunch of fun with my friends, and I'm going to live it up. Because you know why? It's the 10 year anniversary! Alright, now let's get to the good and the great stuff that I got over the break. So the first thing we're going to whip out is this box right over here. And if you do look around the room, you do see things have changed quite a bit. <laughs> I'm going to just tell you, this morning uh, I just came in and threw everything around, put things in boxes, threw them to the side, put them behind me. Didn't really have a plan, but hey, it looks a little clean, so <laughs> can't complain. All right, let's break open this bad boy. And I think this is from GameStop. And hopefully they just didn't send one Funko Pop in here, because last time I reviewed my order, said only one thing shipped out and this is a pretty big box <laughs> just for one thing and of course you know game snob they want to make sure that all your fungal pops are very protected 
So what do they do here? <laughs> they threw this huge box just for one Funko Pop. I'm not gonna hate on it because they're keeping my Funkos protected, but it's a little obnoxious, don't you think? Yeah, we're gonna put this down here. Not crush anything. Ah, I didn't hear any crushing because I moved shit around. <laughs> All right, and it does not tell us what is inside. That is always a good thing. And we're gonna pop the bottom open and, oh, I almost spilled out what it was. I'll give it to you guys first. Boom, it is Vegetto. Normal form, huh, huh, eh. Well, we knew, knew that Vegetto was the fusion between Goku and Vegeta when they put on the Panara earrings. The fusion only lasts 30 minutes or as long as their power, I guess, keeps it together. Because we did see when they did Super Saiyan Blue against Zamazu, or Black Goku, the fusion, you know, the merger. And he can only keep it for about, I think, 10, 15 minutes. He was about to kill him, but... Oh no! You split in half! But Vegeto did make his first appearance during the Boo arc. He was kicking Boo's ass, and of course, Boo, you know, threw some gum around him, turned him into bubble gum, and then ate him. Yeah, thanks, heroes. But eventually they split inside and Vegeta showing how badass he was. He took apart Boo, the things inside his head, fat Boo. Uh, I got Kohan was in there, right? Goten trunks and an assortment of Google gobbles and ripped them out and then Boo turned into Kid Boo and then that was a huge ass mess. Blah. But this Vegeta was pretty sweet. Uh, it does look pretty basic. Um, I would have put more orange in his uniform. I don't know if there was more orange in his fighting uniform. But I'm hoping that the GameStop exclusive one that's metallic is a lot better looking than this guy because I am not impressed. Not at all. And if you're impressed, you tell me why you think this Vegetto looks husky. Because I don't. I would take him out of the box, people, but I feel like it's a waste of time. I'm just not digging it. It just seems very bleh. Eh. Well, what can you say? The first Funko Pop of the year seems like it's a dud. I do like Vegetto, but this Funko Pop just isn't, you know, my taste. So uh, I guess I gotta say, thank you very much for joining me for Eight Minutes with Aaron. I do appreciate all the love and support that you've given me last year. And let's just say that this year, give me more, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me more. I know I'm no Britney Spears, I was going to say, but I'm just as good looking, but she is definitely better looking than me. So, uh, yeah. Thank you again. Have a happy and healthy New Year. Stay true to your New Year's resolutions, and I'll see you next time on the next 8 Minutes with Eric.